Hey guys, it's Stephen and Phil here back on footy.com with yet another kit review and today it's the turn of Borussia Dortmund in the spotlight. They've uh, released this celebratory Puma Blackout kit celebrating their 100th year anniversary uh, and it's interesting, it's different and we're going to review it today for you guys but don't forget if you are a fan of kit culture in general make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single kit review and all that kind of stuff. Alright, let's turn our attention to this kit Phil. Um, mm. It's a blackout kit and they've it definitely is. gone for it on the blackout front and they wore it already. Um, yeah. What's your take on it? It's a really good example, I think, of a blackout kit. And, you know, it's funny because a lot of teams have done them. You know, it's certainly a bit of a trend. Um, famously, AIK, a Swedish team, I think two years now they've released kind of full, you know, proper blackout yeah. kits, you know, literally everything, including all the details and that sort of thing. Um, and other teams have, have done similar. So it's certainly not a new concept, but I think the execution is quite good. Um, now... Yeah. They, sorry to they no, basically no, just it. launched this as a surprise as well which is pretty cool yep. they, they they played it uh, they basically just walked out uh, surprised the fans uh, when they beat uh, uh, Dusseldorf 5-0 uh, and it's pretty cool I like how they didn't announce it before yep. they just kind of rocked up and wore it um and they, I really do like as well how it's just full on blackout like yep. you see it on the picture you see Sancho wearing it uh, and it, it really does just stand out how they just totally ought to commit to it they have the funny thing is though, and it doesn't particularly bother me, but the fact the um, the crest and the shorts was in colour. Uh, yeah. I mean, in, in some ways, it, I don't mind it. Obviously, it's not a big big issue, but that, that kind of stood out to me. But I mean, it's great. Literally, even the Bundesliga patch in all black, and you know, it really was. Um, they they committed to it, and I think also it wasn't just um, you know one of their kits that's black. It did have some some unique details. The, the actual pattern on the shirt, yeah, which you can only up, see up close. Um, it's quite nice. Funnily enough, it actually really reminds you of um, their rival shirt last year. Schalke had a similar pattern on their home shirt. And if you see that, obviously that's in blue in, in the colours of Schalke. But yeah. um, it's funny how it reminded me of that given their rival team. But um, yeah, I think the thing is with this, obviously, and a lot of fans are saying, oh, this is just, you know, a, a kind of cynical cash grab. At the end of the day, most most shirts are oh, we're, we're in that territory you now this is effectively you know like a special yeah. fourth kit and we've reviewed quite a few of these already this year so I think for that it, it does it well there is a reason for it being in black uh, it does apparently it marks the one year from the end of the coal industry in the war area which is where Dortmund are from uh, and uh, Dortmund is a city in general uh, that was born out of coal and steel so it makes sense there are some kind yep. of touches that I mean it, it kind of makes sense at least it yeah. isn't tenuous you know yeah they, that's, they that's history of that yep and I think even the thing is, even if there wasn't that link, I, I don't, I don't mind it because obviously, um, at the end of the day, and again, the the industry now is very much about, um, you know, these kind of one-off kits, whether they're anniversary kits, whether they're kits like the Juventus Palace collaboration. So I think now that they're kind of the accepted, yeah, standard. What what's good to see with this kit, I think, is that actually just as a standalone kit, I think it's really aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. Yes, it is just a blackout kit, but at the same time, it could have been, as I say, just a home kit in all black or whatever, but the, the quality of it looks really good. I've not seen one, and they, they, they only had, a thing about 1,800 or so, yeah, there, yeah. which sold out. But, you know, it's the kind of thing where, um, yeah, it would be a really nice nice shirt to it's own. Nice. I think it I looks like great. The fact that the accents as well, uh, nod to the steel side as well. Yes, it's actually yeah. only the 10-year anniversary. Apologies for that. I misread something there at the start. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I think it's, it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool in general. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, how does it compare to AC Milan's in your humble opinion? It's a good question. I think, I think I probably would prefer this one just because it goes in a a more interesting direction. It goes against the grain as well in terms of like it, the sponsors there, but you can't see them, which I kind of like. Yeah, and and I think that's the thing with, with AC Milan's. It felt a little bit too much at the home. Obviously, this isn't particularly traditional, um, but I feel like with Dortmund, obviously. Um, you know they've, they've obviously yeah. had a lot of black kits in the past, so I mean, it doesn't it doesn't feel too strange. I think I think it's a really really nice shirt. Let's give it a score then. Mm. Hard to score this one because obviously it is a one-off kit, and you know it's it's sort of in a, its own category as fourth kits. Yes, yeah. oh, if we can call it a fourth. But kit. if it was an away shirt, then if you put it that way. Well, that's a good shirt. question. Yeah, and to me, I would really rate this. I, I think, think you would like it a lot. Yeah, you'd be like, oh, it's different, and it's I, well, I, I really like that. I know we've seen a few blackout kits, but this one is really well done. I think the concept has been well executed. So, 
It's actually going to be hard to give this other than a 90, which is very high. Interesting, though. I've said review it as a wake it, but you know that if it was an awake it, they simply wouldn't do that. They wouldn't black out the crest. Like they probably wouldn't. Know. So yeah. if I know it's four skips, <laughs> let them be more creative. But yeah. yeah. I'll, and a 90, then I'll say. give it a 90, which is very high, but I do think I think it's because of those the attention to detail, as I say, that things like the pattern. Yeah, the pattern's nice. I like it. The applications, you know, the crest and, and sponsor and everything look really good. Um, and yeah, I do weird, really like it. Weird to say for a blackout kit that the, the colour's nice, but it is, you know, like it's. Well, no, yeah, absolutely. Like they, they've, Really nice accents and the colour. I really like the way they've, they've got the kind of matte effect on the crest That's there. That's it, yeah. Um, it also, always looks a little bit fluorescent in certain lights. It's a good kit. Mm. Guys, that is our score for the Dortmund Blackout kit. Uh, we'll be doing loads more kit reviews uh, as they all start to leak in the new year. They will do. There'll be loads more kits. And all anniversary kits will uh, appearing at this time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new to 40.com and you're a fan of kit culture in general. For now, though, go and check out the AC Milan kit that we just reviewed. See how that compares to this one. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you very soon.